All right, hello gamers. Matt with Gear with your Gamer Goggles. Gamer-goggles.com and today we're going to talk about Too Many Bones Undertow. Um, this is from Chip Theory Games and I'll be right back. All right, so first I have to thank them at Gen Con. They gave me this copy to review and to uh, do an unboxing on, which is what we're starting with. It is. It has, at this point, no way it influenced my opinion. Uh, I do know that this is a heavy box. There's a lot of stuff in here, or there's some weighty stuff. Uh, I have not opened it yet. This is my first look at the product. I, mean, I saw products in their booth, but I'm not sure what was to what game. Um, so we have inside we have a products catalog which uh there is a game in here i want to point out that i didn't have the ability to pick up they were sold out of uh, and that is trip lock uh, it's a game of lock picking with different difficulties which um i saw it being played at origins and they sold out at origins also that should tell you something about this game uh, the deluxe edition is phenomenal it has the whole mat that rolls up. The whole game goes basically into a tube container. It's amazing. Uh, it's a, a game that I'm definitely going to have to order here in the near future uh, and take a, a much closer look at. I love the idea and I love the concept. So we're going to go and we're going to start by looking at the rules. Oh my gosh. So one, I love this texture, this color. Uh, it's different in I mean the rule books not out anywhere to stand out but it stands out uh, beautiful art look at that ape that ape oops there look at that ape if planet of the apes people looked like that I would be bummed out so undertow is a storytelling game and the guys from chip theory are use looking at doing storytelling in different ways uh, the first page there was all the pieces um, the next page starts with objectives and game setup, uh, and then it goes to a gameplay overview that's two pages long. Uh, and when I say two pages long, this isn't a full-size book. And then it starts talking about the gear lock mat, and there's more than one mat if I recall. Um, there's actually, actually like one per player, um, and there's a baddie chip, so here's how you read the baddie chip. These are your monsters, basically. Uh, that's a gear lock. Uh, gear locks are basically gear like things, steampunky. Uh, then there's a battle setup, battle, battle BQ, uh, gear lock and turns. And it goes through everything you need to know loot, lock picking, other miscellaneous rules. And then uh, playing as an abomination. And then there's a uh, campaign mode. Um, and in the back they have like a, a set of quick start rules which I honestly think I would like to see uh, as a separate booklet in the future if they make a second print run uh, just always nice to have a smaller booklet to shuffle around the table with the players as you're learning the game so inside there is a ton of stuff it looks like there's a lot of dice a lot of cards a lot of chips uh, here's a deck box, a deck box. Um, we're not going to look at everything. There's just not going to be enough time to do that. We'll do that more as we play the game. Uh, there's two full things of dice trays. These are actually really nice. Why? How come I've never seen anybody have these for Dice Masters? Um, and then another third partial of dice. We have... Hey, look at that. It's a uh, Mecca Labesh. Or Mecca. Mecca Labesh. Yeah, I guess it's Mecca Labesh. Or Bash. Labash pipe. Um, roll D6. Apply the result to any lock of equal or lesser value that any gear lock is working on. And bypass that lock for free. I don't know how good that is, but that sounds really good. Then we have... 
Um, aha, there's a piece of tape down here. Four. These are heavy duty. I'm going to guess these are the reference cards. I don't know if you can hear that. This is not paper, people. This is plastic. These are plastic cards. Um, don't leave them in the cold. I suspect they would get brittle. But here is a Gearlock Adventuring Reference Guide. This is a dice icon key, which is pretty important. So there's a little bit of a learning curve to this. And then this is Duster. Interesting. And these, I'm, I'm only going to open one of these for now. Maybe. Smells brand new. Uh, these are your mats. These are your play mats. So each character, or... Huh? Uh, there, there's two of these in, in the standalone starter. Uh, there's Duster and Stanza. Oh, I saw one of those. These are your uh, reference guides for whichever character you're playing. Uh, and your different dice and stuff go in here. Uh, we'll have to get into that as we learn to play the game. Set those aside. And this is your... These are the different. So this is the initiative meter, and this is uh, another initiative meter. And I don't know if it's as simple as I want to use green or blue because I haven't read the rules all the way through yet. Uh, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So where is I want to see something? Is there only two characters in this game? Oh, oh they call that the battle map. Um, but anyway, so now let's hmm, let's look at some poker chips. Oh no! Okay, so the red ones have two sides. I don't know if you got to see that close enough, so I'm not going to open them all up yet. I'm just going to save a little bit of time. Yeah, you can see that. So the red ones have two different sizes. But the colored ones, this one kind of looks like a, a billiards ball. And you can't see the art nearly as well as I would like you to on the camera. Um, there's one of the characters. Look at the colors. It's actually really gorgeous these must be some kind of counter initiative counter um, let's look at some of these now I suspect that these are well they have numbers on them so these are probably the different encounters and we'll look at that in a second Stop sticking in them. All right. So. This one's a mech hound. It has uh, a swap dis disruption ability. Uh, the different stats there, which I don't remember off the top of my head. 
um, and this one is a worth three points. We have one here that's worth five points. This is a chimp sentinel. So the uh, black ones are baddies. And then we have what looks like some terrain chips. The art is absolutely beautiful. And when you put it in the, the art the right way, what is this one? There's another character. I really can't wait to figure out what these are. I am intrigued. So we have a whole bunch of black ones. I'm not going to open them all right now. That would be ridiculously crazy. We're going to look at some of these cards. Start with this single pack. I don't believe in messing around with plastic. Now they're cards. They're that same kind of. They're kind of plasticky, so they're super. They're going to be super durable, uh, which also means, since they're made out of plastic, the the pigments and the dyes and stuff are actually figured in when they print these cards. I bet. This is really bad to the bone. In fact. I want to make my card game this way. You guys are awesome. Uh, so we have a tackle box. We have an arm energizer. Different pieces of equipment here. Ooh, a drone. It's a good looking drone. I love the color scheme they have here. Mechanical squid. Uh, frog, frog machine. Yeah, that's a fog machine. That A hunting net. And then uh, this is an encounter card. Interesting. Now let's see if these are the same way. Well, they came out, that's for sure. All right, so we have, man, I love the feel of these cards. Um, special Encounter, Ebonite Doorway, uh, with all the different texts. I'm not going to take the time to read these texts. There's not a lot of art on these cards. Um, and then on the back, it has pretty much what happens, the effects are. So I'm not going to take the time to read all these for now. Uh, I'm going to put these back in here and put them back in here. You get a ton of components here. I have never seen cards like this in a game. This is kind of mind-blowing. I mean, I don't know how much more expensive they are. So here we have... Um, these must be like special items. This is Colossum's other brain, Nobolos, Nobolos's heart, Barnacle's eye, Volkesh's claw, and the Queen's crown. And on the back of each of those, there's like a little story that goes with them. Then we have more items here. These are trove loot. We have catapult, an aqua gun. That's a really cool picture. Uh, water mask, gadget armor. Nice. And then we have, looks like some more encounters, maybe some more loot, or maybe these are basic loot cards. All right. One thing about these cards, though, uh, they are cool. 
um, but they are a little bit slipperier than regular cards but you can bend them I mean a lot more and I bet I could put them through a banana I've been watching too much white call uh, so this is these, these are all equipment cards here or loot cards I think well campaign rewards uh, the Queen Goblin so those are like story cards but there's more loot and I'm, I'm not gonna change the order up on these any uh, because they might be in order these might be loot cards for particular stories so at this point I'm gonna do my best not to mix it up um, I love the art I love the fact that they made it look like it's kind of on a parchment -y like paper uh, and they did it you know without too much color I really do Ooh, handled blade and then we have hearing sensor <laughs> Caviar, num num num. Uh, and then over here, this is the other half of the, the one. This has got some campaign rewards listed. Uh, we have Colossum himself. And then there's Loot, all the way down to Volkesh. Right, so I guess we'll have to flip that over. We have night vision goggles, programmable defibrillator, knackler nest, fortunate discovery, harpoon pistol. I'm only gonna stop if they look cool to me. If you were here, you could say, "Hey, I want to see that." Ooh, Gearlock's guide to advanced tactics. I like that. Uh, those bananas look deformed. I would need those. A plated skull. <laughs> Jungle spear. And that, and that is pretty much it, people. I mean, I, we can look at the dice. We should probably do that. Let's look at some dice. I, mean, I can't go through all of these dice and be like, hey. Look at that. I didn't even notice that. There's a, a little glass bead. Um, D6s, symbols, a regular D6. How, how interesting. But, so that is what comes inside of this bad boy. You get the, you get these really cool little cheat sheets of Stanza and Duster. A Gearlock Adventuring Guide, which I'll zoom out for. You get the battle mat, character mats. Then you get lots and lots of poker chips. I'm not sure which way these go in here. Uh, I'm going to do that. Uh, then the cards. That way. And you get three, well, three stacks of dice, even though you only see two. Uh, plus the little product catalog and the rule book. I cannot wait to play this game now. I'm very intrigued to see how those components come together to make a storytelling game. And thanks for watching, guys. Been a box break me. Hey, uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see next. And I will talk to you later. Hi, guys. Meet the Nibbles, who's going to go down. <laughs> she just did, decided not to go down my back. So we'll do this for her so she's comfy. Uh, thanks for watching my video. And I appreciate it. Uh, please, please hit the like button. Uh, and, and share it if you, you know, know somebody who might be interested. And of course... There's always Twitter and the Facebook thingy, and soon I have a newsletter coming. That'll be down there or in a link below, and my kitty cat loves that idea. Uh, so, anyway, uh, there was one more thing. There was one more thing. Oh, yeah. Subscribe. Be a part of my community. Our community. Let's make it grow together. See you guys at a con somewhere or a local store or if I'm driving through the country, maybe a game club. I don't know. You're not going to go knock down my camera. Bye, guys.